Good day everyone, welcome to Follow Out of Process. In today's video, we are going to be making this corn chip scotch egg. Yes, corn chip scotch egg is very juicy inside and very crunchy outside. I hate mine with mayonnaise and ketchup. Let's get started into today's video. We are going to be boiling our eggs. I added salt so that the egg can be peeled very well. Then after it boiling the egg, we are going to put it inside cold water to achieve a very good and neat egg. And in this video, we are going to be using two, 10 eggs. And I have um, 800 grams of sausage meat. I'm going to be spicing it up. I added salt, ginger, garlic, thyme, any season of your choice. But please, whenever you are buying your sausage meat, Ask them if it has not been seasoned so that you will not risk seeing um, a, a sausage meat that has already had salt and every other thing. So because I have fallen into it, I have once bought a meat that has already been seasoned. So please, don't be a victim like me. So after mixing everything together, we are going to marinate her sausage meat for at least 30 minutes. And in that process... That will allow our egg to cook down completely before we use it. And I am going to be using 80 grams of sausage meat for each of my eggs. It's not compulsory that you have a scale. So yes, you can use, once you know the gram of the sausage meat you are using, just divide it into the numbers of eggs that you have. So I'm using a rolling pill to roll it out. But it's not also compulsory that I use a rolling pill. I also use my hand. In the next one that I'm going to do, I'm going to be using my hand and you see how to use the hand to spread it out. And before you add your egg in between the sausage meat, please put it inside flour so that you avoid it from moving from one place to the other inside the meat. And in this method that I'm going to use, I'm going to be showing you how to make your sausage roll without it messing up your hand, without without wasting your flour, without wasting your breadcrumbs, yes. And I make use of everything that I, I that I have. I did not waste anything, nothing was wasted, my hands were not messy and everything came out very perfect. So please if you want to know how to achieve a very good, clean and messy free hand, please watch this video to the end. So now I'm using my hand to press. You can see it's almost it's the same thing as using a, a rolling pin. So I'm adding my eggs in between, then wrapping it around, wrapping the meat around the egg. So that is what I'm doing. Please, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interesting and very wonderful videos. Please like, share, and comment in the comment section. I'm going to I added two tablespoons of flour. That is my bread. Add meat to two eggs. Then after adding mix very well. Then coat the sausage the so the egg go with flour. Then add into the egg mixture. Then after I use the fork to lift and put inside the breadcrumbs. And after putting inside the breadcrumbs and coat it with the breadcrumbs, we are we are going to put it back inside the egg mix again, so that we will avoid it from breaking. Then recoat again, so that we can have a very solid back for the for the scotch egg. Then I'm making another one, rubbing the egg roll with um, flour. The scotch egg rather it flour, then putting it repeating the same process, just showing it again. Then this time I put a spoon. I put I I use a fork and spoon to spread it over the scotch egg. Then you can see that the my bread grounds have reduced and it's still dry. Then put it like that. But when it is becoming small, I make sure that if I want to use my hand. I use a fork to spread it all over the places. Then I use my hand to pick, avoid touching the messy part. Then start 
putting it gradually, gradually, so that I will not waste anything. Nothing will be wasted, and I will continue using it and spread it all over again by putting it back into the egg mix. Then spread and spread. Then later again, I recoat it with the breadcrumbs, and everything came out very lovely and um, neat. My hands are neat. Nothing was messy. My fork pierced through the egg roll, so I have to repatch. So I mix. I'm sorry. I I I recoat it the second time, and everything is set. You can see. Everything my hands are even dry, they are not messy, they are not tacky, they are not sticky. Everything came out very neat. This is my hand after making 10 egg scotch eggs. So this is what what was left, and it is still very dry and it's not messy. My hands are neat. So now the next thing we have to do is we are going to put our oil on the fire and we are going to test if it is hot by putting by putting through a stick and once there is a bubble that means our oil is set for frying and we're going to be frying in, on a medium heat so that it will be well cooked inside and still remain juicy and not burnt outside and please if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like, share, comment, and please follow me on my Instagram page at FollowTop12. Please follow me, follow me. Show your girl some love. And thank you very much for my for always watching my videos. For my first 20 subscribers, I feel very good to you all. My family story is the best. And my new customer, you are welcome to the family. This is the thing that is very lovely. You can see that one is just a little bit cracked and doesn't bore, it did not burst into, into the oil. So that means our coating was very good. Can you see how juicy this came out? Look at it. It was crunchy outside and got that juice and juicy inside. And I hate it with mayonnaise and ketchup and everybody loved it and everybody enjoyed it and i'll be expecting you to try out this recipe look at that it's very lovely thank you so much for watching and i'm hoping to see you in my next video bye see you soon